Okay, let's solve this differential equation, this um, second order differential equation. We have the second derivative of some function of x plus five times its first derivative plus six times the function of x, f of x, equals two e to the minus x. And we want to solve this equation for f of x. And to do that, um, using the Laplace transform, the technique is to take the Laplace transform of both sides of the equation, which we can do, even though we don't know what f of x is, we can say, well, the Laplace transform is going to be some function of f of s, and once we do that, for its first derivative, we derive this relationship here, that's the same thing as s times the Laplace transform of the original function minus that function evaluated at zero, and for the second derivative of the function, its Laplace transform is s squared multiplied by that f of s minus s times the original function evaluated at zero minus the derivative of the first function evaluated at zero. And for this problem, f of zero is just zero, and f prime of zero is zero. So let's go ahead and take the Laplace transform of both sides here. For this, then, we're going to use this relationship, s squared times f of s, and minus s, this is zero, and that zero, so that's all we have from that term. Here we have plus five times s f of s, and that zero, plus six times f of s, and that has to equal to the Laplace transform of this side, which is 2 over s. This is a minus sign for the exponent, so this is s plus 1. So let's see if we can factor out from here f of s. That's equal to s squared plus 5 times s plus 6. Factoring that out. And that has to be equal to 2 over s plus 1. So f of s equals 2 over, and let's see, can we factor this? Um, it looks like it should be s plus 2 times s plus 3. So we have this divided by s plus 2 times s plus 3. So, we're trying to solve for the function f of x that satisfies this differential equation, and right here, we just found this Laplace transform of that function. So, we don't know what the function is yet, f of x, but we do know what its Laplace transform is. It's that. And it looks like we're going to have to use partial fractions to break this up. So this, 2 over s plus 1 times s plus 2 times s plus 3. These are all linear factors here. That will equal a over s plus 1 plus b over s plus 2 plus c over s plus 3. Multiply both sides of the equation by this, and we have 2 will equal a. Let's make some room here. 2, that will equal a times s plus 2 times s plus 3 plus b times s plus 1 s plus 3 
plus C times S plus 1, S plus 2. So now we have to do a little bit of algebra so that we can determine our unknowns here, A, B, and C. Um, this is multiplying that out. We have, looks like S squared plus 5S plus 6. Here we're going to have S squared plus 4S plus 3. And here, S squared plus 3S plus 2. Okay, so we want to multiply these out here and collect like terms. So it looks like 2 is going to be equal to A plus B plus C times S squared. And for the S term, then it looks like it's going to be Looking at over here, it looks like it's going to be 5a plus 4b plus 3c times s. And then over here, we're going to have, for the constants, we're going to have 6a plus 3b plus 2c. And there is no S squared term on this side, so these have to add up to be zero. There's no S term on this side, so these have to add up to be zero. And there's a two over here on this side, so these have to add up to be equal to two. So we have three unknowns that we have to solve for, A, B, and C, and we have three equations. This adds up to zero. These add up to zero. These have to add up to equal to two. Let me go ahead and we solve those three um, equations. And it comes out that A equals one. And B equals minus two. And C equals one. So, let's make some space here then. By the way, as you probably have noticed if you've been following the videos, when we're using the Laplace transform technique for solving the differential equation, um, once we find out for our unknown function, f of x, this is what we're solving for. Once we find this Laplace transform, the most time consuming part of the problem then usually is using the technique of partial fractions to get this into a simpler form. So be prepared for that. It's not difficult, but it can be tedious, as you undoubtedly have noticed. So let's see. Now then we're going to say, using these, now we're going to say f of s, That will equal 1 over s plus 1. And let's see. Actually, yeah, b is minus 2. So that's minus 2 over s plus 2 plus 1 over s plus 3. And f of x, of course, that's just the inverse the Laplace transform of f of s. And it looks like that's going to be equal to from here, that's just e to the minus x minus 2, and it looks like here we have e to the minus 2x plus, and from here we have e to the minus 3x. And that's it, we found our f of x. So, usually then, you can see the most time-consuming part of the problem is not in solving for the Laplace transform, 
it's once you get the expression for the Laplace transform, using the, the uh, technique of partial fractions to simplify it, then once you do that, you can just automatically read down what f of x is. Um, but anyway, that's it for this video. Um, come back, join us in the next video. We're going to solve one more second order differential equation using the Laplace transforms, and it'll be a little bit more complicated than what this problem has been. So come back and join us for that video, and we'll pick it up from there.